Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Al Bushra the Good News. It is Ramadan and the last 10 nights of the month is drawing nearer and nearer. I know by now the Little Qadr is in your mind. The Little Qadr in which the Quran was first descended. The Little Qadr which is called the Blessed Night. The Little Qadr in which under the leadership of Jibreel alayhi salam all the angels will descend in the night throughout until the morning. Laylatul Qadr, which is filled with tranquility, peace. Laylatul Qadr, in which everyone is going to be forgiven. Laylatul Qadr, in which once you are prepared for it, you will never go back empty handed. Laylatul Qadr, for which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man qama Laylatul Qadr imanan wa ihtisaban ghufra lahu ma taqadam min dhambi. Whoever observes Laylatul Qadr, Iman and out of faith, wahtisaban and expectation of rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all his past sins are forgiven. Laylatul Qadr, in order not to, to miss it, in order not to uh, fail it, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will work harder in devotion, dua, um, uh, in prayers, all to seek and attain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. For this, every Muslim looks forward to the Little Qadr. For this and more, everyone is preparing via checklist for the uh, observation of Laylatul Al Qadr. However, you are preparing your checklist for Laylatul Qadr. Regardless of how many points are there in your checklist, these are some three main points. I think you cannot afford not to have on your checklist of Laylatul Al Qadr. Yes, you can have as many as you want, but I would like to claim that even if you stick to only these three, your Laylatul Qadr will be successful and anything you are asking for will be granted by maintaining these three uh, checklists, inshallah, inshallah ta'ala. The first on the list is one should review his faith. Reviewing one's faith is to ensure that we are not doing things that contradicts with the true faith of the Muslim, the Aqeedah. Reviewing one's faith means to ensure that one is not doing or having or believing in anything that contradicts with the true faith of the Muslim, that contradicts with Aqeedah, that contradicts with the belief in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One should not be having anything that has been given to him or to given to her by a witch doctor uh, for him to keep uh, while he is observing Laylatul Al Qadr. One should not be practicing on the night of observing Laylatul Al Qadr rituals that are un Islamic or that contradicts with the, 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 the faith of Islam while observing Laylatul Al Qadr. So when we re one reviews his faith, it's not only for the night of Laylatul Qadr, but we review it now and ensure that it is authentic, it is correct now and forever. Next, one should check his sincerity. Yes, difference between having a proper and correct faith and also having sincerity uh, with regards to whatever we carry out. So one should check why he why he is he or she is observing the night of Laylatul Al Qadr? Is it because the whole household is going to be engaged in observing Laylatul Al Qadr? So I also have to join them, or really I I'm in love with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, or really yes I want to seek Allah's pleasure, and whatever single moment I'm going to spend in the night of observing the little qadr i'm going to do it for the sake of allah subhanahu subhanahu wa ta'ala so once one checks his intention and checks his sincerity uh, checklist number two is ready and set to go inshallah inshallah ta'ala next the last but not the least is to focus on righteous activities righteous deeds not on searching for the signs of laylatul al qadr in other words when one pays more attention in searching for the signs of Laylatul Qadr, which can only be seen at the dawn. When one focuses on that, 
he may or may not be able to identify the signs of Laylatul Qadr. And yet he will still miss the blessings of Laylatul Qadr. But when one focuses on attaining the qualities, the rewards, the mercies, the bounties that comes along with Laylatul Qadr, even if he misses to identify the signs of Laylatul Qadr, he will still be able to, he will still be able to attain uh, the blessings of Laylatul Al Qadr. While one is focusing on the righteous activities, dua, Quran reading, recitation, invocation, Sayyidatuna Aisha radiallahu anha asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, what do I do? What do I say when I concede with Laylatul Qadr? Uh, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told her to say, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are forgiving. You love forgiveness, so forgive me. This, if one attains Allah's forgiveness, there's nothing else that will not be granted for him. And there's nothing else that can replace Allah's forgiveness. Allah pardoning you. So, Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. These are the main three points I believe one should have on his Laylatul Qadr checklist and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to observe Laylatul Qadr successfully and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the, uh, the, 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 the best winners on the night of Laylatul Qadr and may Laylatul Qadr more and more of it come for us to witness in the next years inshaAllah ta'ala until our next episode I leave in Allah's protection Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah مسيح حسن محاور مستاد الله أخطب العقل والروح والبشاعرات الله أقول للناس حسن